Oh, it's so good to see you kids. I look forward to it every Sunday that we can get together. You know what? I want to show you something, and I'm wearing it. It's something called a stole. That's a funny word for it. I didn't steal it. You may remember that this blue stole is not the only color of stole I wear. I wear the colors green, purple, red, and white for my stoles, too. Each color goes along with a pyramid. We call them pyramid colors on the altar and the pulpit and even what covers the communion cup. Do you see the blue on all these things? Yeah. Blue is for the season of Advent. We've got blue candles, too. And underneath, those are blue. Uh, the season of Advent, which is the four Sundays before Christmas. Now, I want to tell you something. It's sort of a secret. My wife, Mrs. Hewitt, made this blue stole. Isn't it beautiful? Come up closer and you can see. She made this many years ago for me to wear at Advent time. Now look at this. There's symbols. There's four symbols. One, two, three, four. Four symbols that Mrs. Hewitt stitched all over this stole. We'll start over here. This star is the star that the wise men saw and that led them to see the babe at Bethlehem. Down here is a lovely lamb. Can you see this? There's a lovely lamb. Look at the stitchery there. There's a lot going on there. Yes, it's about Jesus because Jesus is the lamb that died for our sins. Innocent lamb because Jesus didn't commit a sin. The lamb's head shines and it carries a flag and a cross with it. It represents Jesus, for Jesus was the prophesied innocent lamb who was slain for the forgiveness of our sins. And over here is an interesting thing. It's a stump, tree stump, uh, but it has a tr something growing out of it, a part of the tree. It represents uh, the Bible passage, for Jesus is called the branch that rose out of his ancient family, the root of Jesse. It seemed God's cause in Israel for many hundreds of years was lost until Jesus came out of nowhere, kind of like this branch comes out of nowhere, out of a seemingly dead tree. And then there's my favorite, right here. Pull it down so you can see it better. Look how well Mrs. Hewitt made these four Advent candles with the holly and the holly berries on it underneath. What do you think? Huh? Can you do that? Can you do that? Cool, yeah. I can't do that. Mrs. Hewitt is a good stitcher. You know why she took all that time? It took her a long time to do this. All that time to stitch all of this? Not only did she do it because she loves me, but because she also loves the church and the season, this season of Advent. Today, as we celebrate love, we celebrate someone like Mrs. Hewitt and all those Christians who love Jesus. Do you love Jesus? We're celebrating each other and who love doing things like Mrs. Hewitt did for the church. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we're very thankful that you have us do things for the church and for you. Uh, we're thankful that when someone asks us to do something for the church, we say yes, like last Sunday's Christmas program, for instance. Help us to put every kind of excellence and effort we can into serving you and serving others, like Mrs. Hewitt did. In Jesus' name, amen.